Hello, I'm Damian Mitchell. Stephen Francis, the coach of sprinters Asafa Powell and Sharon Simpson, says his research on the suspicious supplements the athletes were taking does not indicate that they contain the band's stimulant oxalophrine. Speaking on Hits 92 FM, Francis said he investigated the products following the revelation on Sunday that the athletes had tested positive. Meanwhile, sports medicine specialist Dr. Winston Dawes believes the World Anti-Doping Agency and the International Olympic Committee should do more to educate athletes about unsafe products. According to Dr. Dawes, the agencies need to undertake the testing of natural products and supplements. The prosecution in the murder trial of Entertainer Vibes Cartel has applied for the statement of a key absent witness to be entered into evidence. Presiding Judge Brian Sykes is expected to make a ruling on the application. The Attorney General's Department has withdrawn its application challenging the powers of the Contractor General to monitor three government projects. The application was withdrawn when the matter was called up in the Judicial Review Court on Tuesday morning. Overseas, one of the jurors who freed American George Zimmerman of the murder of Trayvon Martin has told the CNN she had no doubt that he feared for his life in the final moments of their struggle. She says Zimmerman's heart was in the right place when he shot the team. In your weather forecast, on Wednesday there will be scattered showers and isolated thunderstorms across central and western parishes. It will be windy in some southern parishes. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. I'm Damian Mitchell.